education outreach work. A bill in Congress could spur sales of American and foreign cars as long as they're high mileage. It calls for government rebates that could put a couple thousand dollars in your pocket. ABC 7's political reporter Mark Matthews talked with the bill's author today. San Mateo Congresswoman Jackie Speer toured a South San Francisco biofuel company this morning. Solazine makes oil from algae. You know, over 50% of the total matter in there right. is oil. Edible oil that Speer says tastes like olive oil. It's as good as olive oil, Mark. Come over here and taste it. They also make the kind of oil that can power a car. Now, how did you have to retrofit it? Nothing. Nothing? This is a stock car. Congresswoman Speer is trying to boost the sale of more fuel-efficient cars. She recently introduced a bill to provide rebate checks to anyone buying a car that gets better than a combined EPA rating of 28 miles per gallon. Incentivize people to purchase vehicles that are fuel efficient and give them a rebate. If Spears' bill becomes law and you purchase a car this year that gets 28 miles per gallon, you get $1,000 in a government rebate check. And the amount of the check goes up along with the mileage. 2500 for a car that gets better than 32 mpg. The mileage numbers increase next year, and the year after that, the government would set new standards. So, it's a way of moving us from our dependence on foreign oil, uh, moving us into more fuel-efficient vehicles. Oakland car dealer Steve Shopper is all for anything that'll help sell more cars. The only problem? Only one of the cars in his showroom would qualify, and its combined mileage? Only good enough for the lowest of the rebates. Look what General Motors is doing. They're going to bring out a big green movement is coming forward. They're starting with the Volt. We'll get that pretty soon. It's a real exciting car. Shopper says by the time Spears' bill becomes law, there will be cars on his lot that he says will be revolutionary. Currently, the bill is in the Ways and Means Committee. Congressman Mike Thompson from Napa sits on that committee, and he partnered with Spear in introducing the legislation. In the newsroom, Mark Matthews, ABC 7 News. All right.